I'm Noma Anderson, Dean of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. We are going to get started very soon. We're going to allow those who are in our virtual uh, waiting room to come into our virtual auditorium uh, for this very important event, the inaugural Dr. Ronald W. Perrault International Research Green and Gold Professor Investiture. We'll go ahead and get started. Again, good afternoon. I'm Noma Anderson, Dean of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. And I'm pleased to welcome you to one of the University of Vermont's most revered traditions, the Endowed Faculty Investiture Ceremony. As a new Dean, this is my first time presiding over an investiture at UVM and I am both excited and honored to be here. Of course, I wish we could meet together in person, um, but I'm grateful that technology enables us to come together as we are. Um, people are here from near and far for this very special occasion. Today, we have the pleasure of recognizing and celebrating an outstanding member of our faculty, Dr. Seth Fritz, as the inaugural holder of the Dr. Ronald W. Perot International Research Green and Gold Professorship in the Department of Biomedical and Health Sciences. This is an endowed faculty position exclusively for a faculty member in the Department of Biomedical and Health Sciences and is a terrific endorsement of the college's work to maintain and expand its deep commitment to the creation of new knowledge through a wide range of research techniques and approaches. We are privileged to have a number of special guests joining us today to mark this occasion, including UVM Provost and Senior Vice President, Dr. Patty Prelock, who you will hear from shortly, and Mr. Jim Keller, Interim Chief Executive Officer of the UVM Foundation. We are also very pleased to welcome those members of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences Board of Advisors, the UVM Foundation Board and Leadership Council, the UVM Alumni Association Board of Directors, and the UVM Board of Trustees who are able to join us today. Thank you for being here with us. We are gathered together today because of the generosity of Margaretha Perot. I had the pleasure and honor of meeting Margaretha quite recently. It was by Zoom, not in person. However, her graciousness and warm personality came through in spite of the challenges of how we meet and greet one another in these days and times. We ended our conversation by saying how much we hope to be able to converse face to face. And it will be my joy to welcome you, Margaretha, to UVM, which will hopefully be in the near future. And while we were meeting, Deb and Andre and I started planning that visit. Margaretha Perot holds both the MD and PhD receiving her undergraduate degree, her MD and PhD from Lund University in Sweden. She is a child and adolescent psychiatrist. Margareta worked alongside her husband, Ronald, in his lab at Lund University and is very proud of what they accomplished together. Dr. Donald Paro was a world-renowned expert on the role of DNA repair and DNA damage in regulating toxicological mechanisms important to normal and tumor cell survival. More generally, he was a prolific and committed scientific researcher with many international research connections. I know that Professor Fitz is poised to carry out his work in the spirit of Dr. Parot with dedication and passion. Now I would like to pause and take a moment to acknowledge the work 
of the University of Vermont Foundation and helping Margareta achieve her goal of honoring Dr. Perot's legacy. Significantly, since its founding in 2011, the foundation has helped donors establish dozens of endowed faculty positions here at UVM. Today, the university boasts of over 120 endowed chairs and professors, and we are extremely proud to welcome Professor Fritz to this esteemed group today. Appointment to an endowed position is among the highest academic honors the University of Vermont can bestow on a faculty member. Endowed chairs and professorships will allow the university to recognize and celebrate academic achievement and to further encourage scholarly and service excellence. Endowed faculty positions are a tribute to the holder and permanent legacies for the donors who established them. Named chairs and professorships help ensure the quality and strength of our faculty for years to come and permanently reflects the interests and hopes of the donors who establish and support them. Endowed professorships and chairs are also important in recruiting and retaining the most creative researchers, the most effective teachers, and the best clinicians. Exceptional faculty members like Professor Fritz in turn create a dynamic and engaging academic environment that attracts outstanding students. For all of these reasons on the behalf of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences and the entire University of Vermont, we are tremendously grateful to Margareta for this gift. At this time, it is my great pleasure to introduce Provost and Senior Vice President, Dr. Patty Prelock, to offer her thoughts on this investiture. Please join me in welcoming her. Thank you, Dean Anderson. It is such a privilege to join you for your first investiture ceremony at UVM. I look forward to celebrating these events with you many times in the future. And I'm so very pleased to be part of this wonderful academic tradition, which allows us to both recognize Professor Fritz as an outstanding member of our faculty and to honor Margareta Perot's wonderful generosity and farsightedness. As UVM's provost and senior vice president, I serve as the chief academic officer of the university and I'm responsible for advancing all dimensions of our academic excellence. The academic excellence underpins virtually all aspects of UVM's strategic vision, amplifying our impact. Amplifying our impact is built on three interconnected priorities, ensuring student success, investing in the university's distinctive research strengths, and fulfilling our grant land grant mission of service to Vermont and to Vermonters. No part of this vision can be achieved without excellent people. Indeed, I argue continually that our faculty and staff are the university's most precious asset. In this case, Professor Fritz is critical to the College of Nursing and Health Sciences work to really enhance the health and well being of our community through clinical care, training, and importantly, research. These investments in a healthy society are one of the most important and visible ways that UVM is bringing the Amplifying Our Impact vision to life for the benefit of all, especially during this worldwide pandemic. To end, I'd like to speak directly to Margareta. Margareta, thank you for your generosity and your trust. As a former Dean of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, I know intimately what a special place this is and what an enormous impact our faculty have on our students and on the world. By creating this professorship, you have helped ensure that UVM will always be a fitting home for exceptional scholars and teachers in the biomedical and health sciences. For that, we thank you. Dr. Fritz, and you know how I feel about you. You are deeply valued as a member of our UVM family. 
I am so pleased to welcome you to our growing body of endowed professors and chairs. I'm so very proud of you, and I know you will continue to do extraordinary work. Congratulations again. Thank you, Provost Prelock. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Pauling Deming, Chair of the Department of Biomedical and Health Sciences and Lisa Steele Professor in Nursing and Health Sciences. Dr. Deming will tell all of us assembled here a bit more about the professor we are recognizing today, Dr. Seth Fritz. Thank you, Dean Anderson. And thank you to Margareta for the gracious donation that established this professorship in honor of her late husband, Dr. Rano Perot. Dr. Fritz grew up in New Mexico and attended New Mexico State University, earning a Bachelor's of Science in Biochemistry and a Bachelor's of Arts in Chemistry. As an undergraduate student, he realized his interest in science and gained a passion for research. In addition to working as an undergraduate researcher in chemistry, he had the opportunity to work for a summer at Harvard University under the mentorship of Dr. John Beckwith, an acclaimed geneticist. This experience solidified his decision to pursue a PhD at Harvard. As a student in the biological and biomedical science program there, he worked under the guidance of Dr. Pamela Silver, where his interest in understanding mechanisms of gene regulation grew. His dissertation project was focused on elucidating epigenetic gene regulation in breast cancer. And during this time, he was introduced to genomic research, helping to explore some of the first genome-wide epigenetic data sets from cancer cells. With an interest in gene regulation and employing whole genome scale methods, Seth decided to pursue his postdoctoral work at the University of Southern California under the mentorship of Dr. Peggy Farnham, a world-renowned genomic scientist. Here he had the opportunity to participate in the Human and Code Project, a major undertaking that has fundamentally changed our understanding of how the genome is organized. Through work in this consortium, Seth co-authored several publications, two of which are in the journal Nature. And this work provided evidence to refute the myth that most DNA is junk. In all, his postdoctoral research led to 14 independent publications. After gaining experience in teaching and research as a faculty member at two prior institutions, in 2015, we had the opportunity to recruit Dr. Fritz to the Department of Biomedical and Health Sciences in the College of Nursing and Health Sciences here at UVM. He has been a wonderful addition to the UVM community and has served as a role model for success. He currently leads a large research program that applies systematic approaches to study molecular mechanisms of gene regulation with a long-term goal of dis discovering new therapeutic strategies to, to target cancer cells. Importantly, he has demonstrated an incredible record of collaboration within UVM, across the nation, and internationally. Seth's success as a researcher is largely due to his collaborative approach and his focus on team-based biomedical research. His willingness to share his skills and expertise has fostered diverse research collaborations that have led to novel discoveries, successful trainees, and new funding opportunities. He has helped collaborators investigate herpes virus genomes, how viral infection alters fruit bat gene regulation, understanding how epigenetics regulates thermal acclimation, and identifying specific toxins in snake venoms. His collaborators have this to say about him. Seth is a generous and enthusiastic collaborator, willing to share his skills and deeply dive into new fields. Another said, his expertise in the functional genomics and bioinformatics is an essential resource to the UVM community. We are lucky to have him. And another, the collaborations that Seth has forged across departments and disciplines is the future for advancing biomedical research here at UVM. Since joining us a little less than six years ago, Seth has published over 30 peer-reviewed manuscripts in top tier journals, along with several other scholarly articles. He currently holds six multi-PI National Institute of Health grants and a National Science Foundation grant. Importantly, his work has been highly impactful, having been cited over 11,000 times. 
His expertise has been sought out from researchers around the globe. A few summers ago, as a visiting professor at the University of Oslo, he helped to train researchers of all levels in cutting edge cancer genomic techniques and provided consult on experimental design and data analysis. He has also served in leading roles as session chairs for international meetings and work workshops focused on genomics. In addition to research, Dr. Fritz has made significant contributions to mentorship, teaching, and service. He has successfully mentored the spectrum of learners, high school, undergraduate, and graduate students, postdocs, and faculty. His students have thrived in the research arena, publishing manuscripts, securing grant funding, and receiving research awards. One of his undergraduate students is a Fulbright scholar. One mentee described him as, quote, always working hard to ensure that members of his lab, undergraduates, graduate students, postdoc, and research staff are integrated into a supportive and productive environment that exemplifies research excellence. Dr. Fritz has also contributed to the educational mission of the Medical Laboratory Science undergraduate and graduate programs, teaching courses in cell biology, applied molecular diagnostics, and research methods. His pedagogy, creativity, and commitment to objective-based class design has been exceptional and inspiring. He has also demonstrated significant leadership in service here at UVM, in particular through his integral role at the UVM Cancer Center. In summary, Dr. Fritz is an exceptional researcher who has raised the prestige of our department, college, and university. I am proud to have him as a colleague and delighted that he is being honored as the inaugural recipient of the Dr. Ronald W. Perro International Research Green and Gold Professorship. Thank you very much, Dr. Deming. Those words certainly share, share it with us, show us why we are here today. We will now present Professor Fitz with a medallion that marks this occasion and signifies his status as the holder of an endowed faculty position. We hope he will wear the medallion with his academic regalia at commencement and other official university functions. Professor Fritz, will you please prepare to receive the medallion? Dr. Seth Fritz is a highly respected researcher, teacher, and scholar. He has dedicated his career to addressing important biomedical questions that allow us to better understand the molecular basis of human disease. Through his research, teaching, and leadership, he ensures that we are constantly improving our ability to identify potential biomarkers and therapeutic targets of cancer and other diseases that will improve the overall health of our society. His work has brought great distinction to the College of Nursing and Health Sciences at the University of Vermont. Dr. Seth Fritz, the inaugural Dr. Ronald W. Perot International Research Green and Gold Professor in the Department of Biomedical and Health Sciences, we honor you today with this medallion, which serves as an enduring symbol of the excellence you strive to achieve in all aspects of your professional life. Congratulations, Dr. Fitz. Now I'd like to invite Dr. Fritz to address us. Good afternoon, everyone. Dean Anderson, Provo, Provost Prelock, and Dr. Deming. Thank you for the kind introduction and for all the support that you have provided. It means so much to me that the work that I am so passionate about also resonates with you. I'm extremely honored to be the inaugural recipient of the Dr. Ronald W. Perro International Research Green and Gold Professorship. I first want to thank Dr. Margarita Perro for establishing this professorship in honor of her husband. Dr. Ron Perro was an internationally renowned bench scientist who made founding scientific discoveries and lasting contributions to the fields of biochemistry and DNA damage repair. I recently had the pleasure to meet with Margarita and to learn more about Ron's work as a professor mostly spent in Sweden. 
I learned about his dedication to mentorship, research, and to his family. He was a Vermonter and a UVM alumnus, and I'm truly honored to carry out my work here at UVM and to continue his legacy in mentoring young scientists in basic cancer research. I trust that my efforts will make the Perot family proud. I'm also so grateful to have this opportunity to publicly acknowledge some of the mentors, colleagues, and friends that have played such a significant role in my professional and personal life. I first want to acknowledge my undergraduate chemistry and biochemistry professors, Jeffrey Arterburn and Glenn Keane at New Mexico State University. It was their passion for teaching that truly inspired me and made me want to become a scientist. And the opportunities that they provided for undergraduate research were so instrumental to my career. I, I especially want to acknowledge my postdoctoral mentor, Dr. Dr. Peggy Farnham, chair and professor of biochemistry and molecular medicine at the University of Southern California. Peggy, you have taught me so much as a scientist and a mentor. Your systematic and unbiased approach to solve scientific problems, your devotion and mentorship, each of these items have truly shaped my research today. From you, I've also learned what a healthy work-life balance looks like and the importance of fostering a fun and supportive lab environment. So as we used to say in the Farnham Lab, salud. I also wanna acknowledge my friend and colleague, Dr. Randy Kors, professor at the University of Colorado. Working with Randy over the last many years has been some of the most enjoyable moments of my scientific career. Randy, your passion for science and for telling a good story has been such a positive influence on my life. It is through you that I've made so many important connections, which have resulted in several NIH grants and also involved so many of my PhD students here at UVM. So Randy, thank you for all that you do for me and for my students. I also want to acknowledge my friend and collaborator, Dr. Hilda Shervin at the University of California, San Francisco. As postdocs in Los Angeles, when we first met at a Starbucks cafe in Westwood Village outside of UCLA to discuss the collaboration, I couldn't have imagined that we'd still be working today on that project. We've shared so many successes over these years, and our partnership has made such a positive impact on my work and to the work of several of my PhD students. Here at UVM, I have so many wonderful colleagues that have provided so much depth to my research program. Dr. Gary Stein, thank you for all that you have done to advance my scientific career. I appreciate your mentorship and all the opportunities that you have provided. Doctors Janet Stein, Jane Leanne, and Fran Carr, I'm so grateful for your collaboration and for the mentorship that you provide to me and my students. I'd also like to thank my amazing colleagues, Kaleem Ziedi, Jonathan Gordon and Jessica Heath for all your support and encouragement. I'd like to recognize Dr. Karen Glass, who recently joined the Department of Pharmacology here at UVM. I wanted to let you know that I look forward to our continued collaboration and successes as we continue to build a strong program in cancer epigenetics research. I want to acknowledge Dr. Paula Deming, my fearless leader and the chair of the Biomedical and Health Sciences Department here at UVM. Paula has been an amazing example of a strong leader, scientist, and teacher. Paula, I've learned so much watching you in action, and I truly appreciate that all that you have done for my research program. I also want to recognize the rest of my department. I feel so blessed to be working with such a great group of faculty and staff that are so committed to excellence in education and research. I want to especially acknowledge Anne McLeod. Thank you for all the behind the scenes work that you do to make research and collaboration possible in our department. Finally, I want to thank my family for their enduring support. I want to thank my beautiful wife, Marie, for her passion and integrity, for always standing by my side along this crazy journey. And to our two kids, Ruthie and Francisco, your creativity and curiosity continually inspire me and remind me why I became a scientist in the first place. In closing, I'd like to thank the UVM community for welcoming me. And I promise my most genuine efforts in honoring Dr. Perro's accomplishments in cancer research through this honorable green and gold professorship. Thank you and good night. Thank you, Professor Fritz and congratulations again. I would now like to invite the person whose generosity has brought us here today, Margaretha Perot, to share her thoughts on this occasion with all of us. Please welcome her. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea von Hoven and Deborah Dever and the Investiture Planning Committee. Thank you, uh, President Jim Keller, um, 
um, Dean, <laughs> Dean Noma Anderson, Provost Patty Prelock, Dr. Paula Deming, and Dr. Seth Fritz. Trying to remember all your names. And I have to say that it was a pleasure. It's an unforeseen bonus of being a donor to UVM to be part of such a grandiose ceremony. Thank you all. I'm so happy that Seth is the first recipient of the professorship that holds my husband's name. I'm also so happy to be part of honoring my husband whose very creative mind, spirit and hard work made this donation possible. Um, for all of us who knew Ron, he was a ball of fire. He took the stage, he filled the room. He was enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, funny and loving. I want to tell you a little more about him because he is the one who is donating this to, to UVM. He was born and raised in here down here in southern southwestern Vermont. He was and he was proudly told anybody who wanted to hear that he was a descendant of French Canadian fern pickers. He was um, the, the, the name Perro is actually the anglicized name, um, uh, the French name Perro. But then his aunt Sheila told me also that on his mother's side, there's English heritage and it dates all the way back to the Green Mountain Boys. So you can definitely call him a true Vermonter. He loved the woods and he got his early education and continued through life to learn from the woods. He went to one room schoolhouses all through down here through eighth grade. He became a basketball star at Arlington High high and I think that that helped pave the way for him to get into higher education and he was accepted at UVM and Ron found science at UVM. He graduated from UVM with a bachelor's degree in 1962. He continued to the University of Rhode Island for his master's and his PhD degrees. He started to build a family. After a postdoc and a few years of work at the National Institutes of Health at Triangle Park in North Carolina, he accepted an appointment as a guest researcher at the University of Lund in Sweden. It was meant to be temporary, but it came to fill a lot big part of his, his career and life. He worked over there at the Department of Genetics, the Department of Biochemistry, the Wallenberg Laboratory, and in the end, they actually created his own department, the Department of Molecular Ecogenetics. Throughout his career, producing the lion's share of scientific work in Sweden and later some at the PMI Strand Clinic in New York, he cooperated and traveled widely internationally. Ron left some 200 published peer-reviewed scientific publications, a series of books, both scientific and fictional, and even some poetry. He formed several companies. One, Oxygen, specifically made this donation possible. Through all this, Ron's heart was always longing for the green hills of Vermont. As his Swedish wife, I had to accept, and I gladly did, that he would finally want to finish out his life on the mountaintop where he early on, we had acquired early on, and where he had roamed growing up where he could hunt and fish and finish off his scientific and creative career from his desk. He often said before, and specifically when we were living here, that he could have imagined remaining in Vermont and at UVM. He could have seen himself a research professor at UVM. He was so thrilled when one of his five daughters graduated from UVM in 2011, and he was happy to see his sister's grandchildren later do the same. Who knows? the future might just hold more UVM graduates in the family. Ron had targeted an international society for preventative oncology as the recipient of his donation. After his passing, it was clear that this society didn't exist anymore. So I looked around for a replacement. Ron's words about the importance of the beginning of his scientific career at UVM and his deep love for his home state of Vermont and my love for it prompted me to search for, the, for a possible worthy recipient right here. I looked for somebody doing basic research in areas close to Ron's and somebody with a good start as a bench scientist with solid publications and obvious ability to be a good mentor, work translationally and able to work internationally. 
Through his publications, I found you, Seth. I believe, Seth, that you are just that kind of scientist. Getting to know you a bit more, I was certainly reassured. I also found further similarities between you and Ron. Scandinavia plays a part in your career, as we heard. I also know that now that you are well grounded in Vermont, thanks to your wife, who, if I understood you right, also has some French Canadian roots. I really look forward to following your continued scientific endeavors here at UVM, Seth. I know that I believe and I, I feel reassured that all of Ron's prior students, his cooperators, his five girls and families, his relatives and friends spread around the country and the globe, honored that UVM has accept, or, or, or honored that UVM has accepted his donation and formulated such a nice title in his name. I am sure he's looking down, maybe he's calling the phone, saying that, I'm, that I am finally a professor at UVM. Good luck, Seth, and the, and the department, and thank you very, very much, UVM. Thank you so much, Margaretha, for sharing your thoughts with us today. As we reach the end of our program, I would like to thank the speakers who have joined me this afternoon and say again how deeply grateful we are to Margarita for creating this permanently endowed professorship and to Dr. Fritz for his dedication to improving the health of our community. We all take pride every day in the important research, teaching and service that our faculty members carry out in the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. So much of the work they do is enriched by the support of our donors, including many people who are watching today. As your new Dean, I can't tell you just how much it means to me to have your support for this special college, its faculty and its students. Thank you for attending this investiture to honor Professor Fritz. I hope that we will soon all be able to gather together in person for events such as this. And I appreciate your coming together today from across the country and beyond. Please stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye.